Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to give you an overview of XSplit VCAM version 2. That's right, version 2 is out, creating a green screen effect with no green screen, background removal, and much more. So stay tuned. So before we get started giving you an overview of XSplit VCAM version 2, we actually covered XSplit before this version. I guess you could say version 1 in a sense. So if you want to see that video as well, I'll include a link below in the description. And if you want to purchase XSplit VCAM or any of XSplit products like Gamecast or Broadcaster, I'll include a link for this as well and a code for 10% off. The code is TECH. Eddie, all one word. It helps support the channel and gives you a really good discount on XSplit software. So let's get into it. So XSplit VCAM version two has some really great features and improvements. Most of them are enhancements and uh, there's two times improved background removal AI. And this is a huge improvement. You'll see it here in our overview soon. There's some calibration and automatic settings which also got improved as well. Uh, VCAM automatically selects the best primary and secondary device for acceleration on your machine, making it run even better. Uh, secondary hardware acceleration, image and video background configuration. So some updates to the changing of the brightness, contrast, zoom, pans, tilts, uh, some more features for you. But the biggest thing I think is the two times improved background removal AI. And you'll see that here in a second, guys. So either update your virtual cam from version one to two, or if you're new, make sure you're updated on the latest version, XSplit VCAM version two. And let's get into the overview and show you what it's all about. Okay, guys, so here we are in XSplit VCAM version two. If you don't know what XSplit VCAM does, it creates a virtual webcam source from your current webcam. So whether you're using a Logitech, a USB camera of some sort, like a, a Fifine, any brand camera, even an integrated uh, camera on your laptop or monitor, it will create a virtual webcam source, which you then can use an export broadcaster or a gamecaster, uh, OBS Studio, Skype, Zoom, go to meeting any one of those um, video conferencing or video streaming tools you can select your webcam source as being the virtual cam as opposed to the regular webcam why would you want to do that well with virtual cam you can do background removal with no green screen background blur and more as opposed to using your regular webcam features which is just zooming tilting and some color correction. You're very limited to what you can do there. So with virtual cam, a whole suite of things open up for you and makes it much more professional and look better too. And you got some fun at the same time, which I like a lot. So once you install VCAM or update it, it will kind of configure to your system specs. So it will customize it towards your system, allowing it to run the most optimized for your computer or PC. Uh, here we have a little bit of a menu you can show settings here so we have let's see here we have of course right now it's on automatic hardware acceleration this is all done by uh, vcam itself kind of configuring itself to my system quality controls adaptive filter always 30 fps is off and remove chair you can click this off and it will, of course, keep the chair. If you have a high chair like I do behind me, like a gaming chair, it will keep that on screen. If you have it clicked on, it will actually attempt to remove the chair from the shot, which is pretty cool. Again, all of these settings here were already configured automatically once I installed XSplit VCAM. So you probably don't want to change too much here, but you can if you want to. All right, so here we go. This is the section where you actually select your webcam. I'm using a Brio right now. If you have more than one webcam, you can select here, of course. I have a couple of integrated webcams on my laptop. Another cam set up here as well, but we're using the Brio here for the explanation. So select your webcam here. If you only have one, of course, you only see one in the drop down menu there. You can also click this. This will just refresh the cam. There we go. Click on the cog wheel or settings wheel here. 
And this is your basic settings for your webcam that come up. So you'll have your brightness, contrast, that kind of thing there. And that little settings menu. Click out of these settings here. Now down below is a slider. This is your background blur. Right now it's at seven. The higher the number or the further out you put this to the right for the slider, the more blurring of the background will go. So you can do this for a really cool effect. Well, there's things in the background you don't want to be really seen in your shot during video conferencing. You can kind of use this as well. And again, it creates a really cool effect, keeping you in the forefront and blurring the background. So we'll slowly here kind of slide this up a little bit. And you see 20 there. It creates a really cool effect here. I am now more prominent in the shot and the background is more blurred behind me, which looks really good. Even my microphone here is blurred, which is kind of interesting. It just keeps me, you know, the user here, uh, your face, your body, whatever's in the shot here, more focused on camera. Now you can go all the way up here if you want to, to 100, which creates like basically a solid wall of green behind me. Uh, so you can kind of adjust this to what you want. Now keep in mind, there's a bit of lag here between adjusting this in real time. I'm also capturing this through XSplit Broadcaster to show to you guys too. So there'll be a little bit less lag when you do this yourselves. Uh, so keep that in mind. So we'll keep this, I like it at around 20 or so usually. I think 20 or less is usually pretty good, but it's up to you. Uh, 25 is okay too. But again, you can use this for just an effect or if there's things you want to hide in the background that you can't move for your video conference, uh, you can kind of blur it out so nothing is seen back there too detailed. Okay? So that's a really cool feature. Uh, the biggest feature here, I think, is the background removal with no green screen. And keep in mind, the software will work its best if you have a solid wall behind you. And it doesn't have to be green. It could be a painted wall. Any color it could be pink, blue. It could be wallpaper, a solid color or design. I have a lot going on here. And I'm actually filming out of a corner of my office and it's shooting across to the other corner of the room here too. So whether, whatever your setup may be, uh, if you can have your setup be along a wall behind you, that's again, very plain. It will work the best in that situation, but We'll show you today what it looks like, even with this busy background here. We have some 3DS games here. We have some display cabinets behind me, a door back there as well. So let's see how well this actually works uh, with this busy background behind me. So to the right here, we have backgrounds. We're gonna click remove. It will work its magic. And there you go. So it has me just in the picture. It's a bit flickery around my face and my head a little bit, but that is excellent, even better than the first version of a VCam here. And that's pretty amazing. Now keep in mind, again, you'll get better results with a solid background, but it doesn't have to be green. It could be any kind of painted wall. As long as the background isn't too busy, it will do a better job of removing it from the picture. So this is really good. Uh, for how busy that background was and this is actually passable. I think um, If you want to do this, you know in a video conferencing call and need to remove the background from the picture It works really well If you're live streaming put the game behind you and you can kind of squeeze and kind of resize your webcam in the corner of the screen as well All right, so here we go. We also have backgrounds we can choose from here some of these are built in. You can also um, kind of upload your own from your desktop. So if you have pictures you want to use as a background, you can do that here with the skyline here of a city. Click on that and there you go. So again, with as busy as the background was behind me, VCam version 2 does a really good job at just removing that background and having me, the forefront, stay in the picture. And that is pretty amazing uh, technology here with VCAM version two. The other cool thing with these backgrounds, you can also blur them out as well with the slider again. So we can also use the slider here to kind of blur that background a little bit more. And again, whatever number value you want up to 100. So any picture you want, you can also blur a little bit. And again, there's some built-in ones here. You can also upload your own by adding background. You can also do YouTube videos, web pages, and of course, click on media file, 
which will help you find uh, photos on your desktop to use in Virtual Cam version 2. So those are the two main features, again, in VCAM uh, for XSplit is removing backgrounds and background removal and the background blur. Click on original and we go back to having our normal shot. Click on remove and there we go once again. Now if you click on the picture here, it kind of shows you what the background looked like originally and you can let go. So it's kind of a cool little feature there as well. So just click on your cam here. It shows your background originally and what it looks like now. So that is pretty impressive. That technology right there, guys. That right there is worth the price because look how busy. I can't get over this, by the way. Uh, this is a big upgrade over version one, by the way. Version one I actually had to use uh, to test out against my blank kind of um, light blue colored wall because this was still just too busy for it. It worked pretty good, um, but this works even much better. Now, of course, what will also help with this is a little bit of lighting too. So make sure you have some good lighting. It could be natural light or a little spotlight above you, which would really help as well. Okay, so there we go. Um, that is pretty much it in v, uh, VCAM version two. Um, Trash, think what else I can show you guys here. Um, yeah, those are the main things. So before we end this video, there's a few more little options I'm going to show you here with the virtual cam version 2. Click on the three lines here for the menu. You can show settings. You can also remove loading screen from this. You can change language. Under the help menu here is checking for updates. You can also recalibrate your system for virtual cam version 2. It's also a quick start guide, so anything I don't cover here, click on either the manual or quick start guide to give yourselves more of a head start in virtual cam version 2. And also go to your account settings here and learn more about XSplit and their products here. And that will wrap up XSplit VCAM version 2, guys. And that wraps up this episode of the Tech Eddie Show. Let me know in the comments below if you are new to XSplit Virtual Cam or if you've actually used it in the past and what you think about it. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.